I don't know what I just watched. I mean, that that had to have been the most pointless episode of Dragon Ball Super we didn't ever had. And we had Goku farming. I I don't what Ahead and start. Fight. What's going on, guys? Your boy X here, and today I'm bringing y'all Dragon Ball Super episode 68 review. Yep, that shit was pointless. Nothing, nothing got solved. I mean, if I was King Kai at this point, I'd say fuck them niggas. Because. <laughs> I mean, they didn't have, I want to say Goku didn't had about five opportunities to wish this man back. On top of that, they've been wasted, I think, about three wishes. I could be wrong, but they didn't wasted about three wishes because Shinron keep leaving without doing the two wishes or whatever, however many, three, two, yeah. Oh, man, I, well, this should be the quickest review. I could do this review probably in a minute. It was just Goku getting the Dragon Ball. And then everybody wanted to hop on Goku's dick, trying to get the damn Dragon Balls from him, trying to get his wish. Why don't they have a safeguard on this shit? Like, if you summon Shinron, you should be the only person, only person allowed to make a wish. Like, like I said, um, fucking like when, when you summon a genie, you can only make the wishes. Like, you know, you rub, rubbing the shit, and you the only one that can make the wish. Um, Unless this is Aladdin, and then if you, uh, take the genie thing, then you get the Look, regardless, <clears throat> regardless, it was just funny. I mean, you had Android 18, who's a bad bitch, but you had her, uh, she wanted to know what Krillin wanted for a gift. Uh, Oolong won some damn panty to 2407. Yeah, Master Roshi won some bad bitches. Um, <clears throat> not the only one, I'll admit. I will admit, the only one that was reasonable out of all them wishes was Gohan's because they didn't know what was wrong with Pan. Um, he said they went to the doctor and all the medicine again wasn't working. It was probably something sane related. <clears throat> and uh, it's not the first time we've seen something like that, kind of like when Goku had the heart virus. I mean, it wasn't that drastic, but like maybe it's like a Saiyan virus that only Saiyans get. So that one was understandable. I'll give Gohan a pass this time. And let's, let's give him a round of applause, cause that man, did you not see this man when he drop kicked Peel off into the damn uh, Earth's core like he playing fucking Dig Dug down there? God damn! What kind of tra <clears throat> what kind of training go Piccolo teaching this man? God, we gonna get the go we gonna get the old Gohan back. I'm telling you, we gonna get the old Gohan. <laughs> but I mean, then you had Boma, who. I mean, really, all of them were selfish, but you gotta think, like, King Kai has wanted to be brought back to life for the longest, and I have to agree with him, kind of, like, I'm trying to figure out why he wants to be brought back to life, he said the feeling is different, I guess, I'll give him that, I mean, he's been wanting to be brought back to life so long, and all of them are like, uh, oh, fuck you, you don't have to be brought back to life today, nigga, we got next year. <laughs> Oh, uh, so that was stupid. And, you know, Boma was like, grant everybody wishes. Uh, Andrew 18, she was just like, oh, as long as, as long as Krillin has you and Marin, y'all are okay. That's all he needs. She's like, oh my God, I'm gonna give them some pussy when I get home. Oh, uh, you had Mama G <laughs> Master Roshi. She over here and ordered him some hookers. I was shocked to see that. She ordered this man some hookers. This man was like, oh shit, about to get a menage a trois. He was all happy. Um, Oolong, Oolong doesn't go far enough, guys. If I was Oolong, I would have said, you know what? Let me get some pussy. That's what I want. Give me some pussy, mama, and I will be happy. But instead, he wants panties again. But he got an Android 18 panties. He's moving up, guys. He's moving up. Uh, <laughs> and, um, oh, yeah, don't send in trucks. They didn't even know what they want to fucking wish for. You would think. 
that's kid. Like if you ask a kid something, like I would think if you ask a kid what he want, he just like off the bat just automatically know something he want, like a game, uh, motherfucking, uh, I don't know, like some crazy shit. Like I think kids would know. Like if you say if you got anything you want, what would you like? I I I feel like kids would just off the bat know, but they didn't know what they wanted, so. They fucked up, cause Boma was giving motherfucking wishes out left and right, like this was Christmas. <laughs> um, and yeah, so Goku, you know, that whole crystal shit in the Earth's core, I was like, man, really? That That's where it is, in the Earth's core? At first I was thinking like, cause I know when, uh, since I know like the next arc is related to Hit, somehow. Um, I was thinking that that crystal came from Hit, cause uh, if you notice when he does his little time leap ability, I believe it'd be like some crystals, and like when he stops time, I don't know, but that's what I was thinking where that crystal came from. Guess I was wrong. Guess I was wrong. But, you know, that was the end episode. I mean, it was a whole pointless episode. It was just Pan getting healed, um, Beers destroyed the time machine, which was funny as hell, cause he, it's like he already knew where it was, he just snapped his finger. <laughs> I'm like, what does he have? X ray vision? And two, we learned that Beers and Weeks can survive the Earth's core. Cause they were down there with no uh, protection on. So that's always good to know. Uh, besides that pointless episode, I mean, I was expecting these kind of episodes because, you know, we finished the arc. It's like after each arc, we always have like a couple episodes of randomness. So I'll give it a pass. Probably my least favorite episode, though, to be honest. Uh, next episode, even though it's gonna be probably another point of that, so it looks like it's gonna be funny and action kind of. Um, so we get Ariel. Um, know a little bit about it. Uh, not too much. I know she's an android and everything, but she looks funny. Look like Vegeta knocked the block off. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be an aerial episode, so I'm looking forward to that one way more than this one, because this one was just pointless. If I was King Kai, I would just cut off all communication. I'm like, next time y'all want some intel, y'all can go suck a dick. That's what I would do. <laughs> oh, that was it, guys. I mean, what more? What more could they have given me? I mean... I could have made a fucking wish. I could have made a goddamn wish. These niggas, uh, damn, fucking up. It's always fun to see Shinron uh, scared too, but I'm just looking forward to the next episode. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the next episode. Uh, but this has been my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 68. And for more Dragon Ball Super reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Why not? Go ahead and hit me with them likes comments down below let me know how y'all was feeling the episode i know y'all wasn't feeling it i don't think i know one person that liked this episode oh man but it's been your boy x and i'm out deuces